once again to the Life of Excellence. We are Jay and Connie Hurd, and we are so honored to be with you today. Today's going to be a good day. Amen. It is going to be a good day. We've got some good stuff to talk to you about. We are now uh, standing uh, in a, uh, a hotel room outside of Muskogee, Oklahoma here, where we are now in our fourth week of revival. Yes. And uh, now, uh, let me not uh, stray you. When I say fourth week, we're having revival every Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. So it's our fourth fourth week, but it's not a continuous week. We are here every Sunday night, Monday night, Tuesday night, and the Lord has been blessing in a mighty way, hasn't He? Yes, He has. We've had some really amazing services. The Spirit of God is moving. It's been so good. You should come join us. And and that's the key. We're right there at 2426 North 32nd Street there in Muskogee, Oklahoma. It's Highway 69. Look for the big red and white sign that says New Life 313 dot life. It's 2426 North 32nd Street, Highway 69. That's the same uh, uh, highway, and that's Muskogee, Oklahoma. But we have already seen God fill people with the Holy Ghost. Yes, we still believe in that. With speaking in tongues. We've seen God heal people's bodies. Amen. And we, we've seen God, hallelujah, even possibly... Give a church to someone else. And, and they're still trying to work out the details, but within 24 hours, a suddenly, yes. woo, that was good, wasn't it? That was amazing. It was. A word of prophecy came forth to this young man, and God moved within 24 hours. Yes, and, and they're working out the details, but they might be merging with another church that is completely debt-free, but mm -hmm. we're, we're waiting to see what God's going to do on that. But we want it to your day of life of excellence. Yes. We want you to be encouraged, inspired, uh, refired, uplifted, blessed, touched. But we want to talk to you about something that we shared with everyone there at 2426 North 32nd Street. There at that building that we're having revival in. It's not a church building. No. People keep looking for a, a conference building or a worship center. But it, it says New Life 313 life on it. And God is doing something great. We want If you're within 150 miles, Amen. they need to come. I mean, we're, we're almost in the center of the United States right there. Yes, we are, right outside of Tulsa. Oklahoma. Right outside of Tulsa, center just 30 minutes States. outside of Tulsa. God is moving. But we want to share something with you. Connie and I want you to hear what we shared with them. You know, a lot of people love to quote uh, Mark eleven twenty three. 23. This is what it says. Mark eleven twenty three says, For surely I say unto you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea and does not doubt, right. But I notice it says here, doubt in his heart. See, the heart and the faith is, is connected. Heart, mind, yes. and faith, they're all connected. But believes those things he says will be done. He will have what? Whatever so, he says. Whatever he that's says. Right. Now, that's key. Now, that's now, don't go out and start praying, God, that millionaire's house down the street, Lord, <laughs> that's mine. They have to move out, knock on the door and say, God said you have to. No, that's not what it's talking about. It's talking about the mountains that are stopping you from becoming the millionaire, stopping you from being healed or filled with the Holy Ghost or having an outpouring of the Holy Spirit or, or getting a church building donated to you. And, 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 and that's where, where it is key to not doubt. How many times I've done it, I, I'm sure you have, we pray for something, we believe God for it, and the minute we walk out say, well, if it's the Lord's will. Yeah, that's right. And you negate your prayer when you do that. And because we know that the will of us, we are prosperous, we are healthy, we are happy, all good things come from the Lord. So if it's a good thing you're praying for, then it's from God. And it is His will, and we should have it. Amen? Well, and that's what it says. The Word of God says... All good and perfect gifts yes, are from God. And, and so we love to quote that scripture, Mark 11, 23, saying mm -hmm. to this mountain, be thou removed. And if you believe in your heart, it shall be done, whatever you ask for. Hallelujah. <laughs> but Jesus kind of gave us four words yes. to start the process to see God move, didn't he? Yes, he did. What, what were those four words, Mark 11, 22, honey? Tell everybody. Have faith in God. Have faith in God in God. Now notice, if you want your mountains moved, you have to have faith 
in God. Right. It didn't say, pray for your mountains to move and then go to the bank and get a loan. Have faith in God. That's it right. didn't say, pray for the mountains to move and then go to your denomination and ask them to help you have faith in God. No, it did not say, hallelujah, pray for your mountains to be removed and then go to your spouse and say, well, you know what? Uh, we need to go to marriage counseling. No, have faith in God. Amen. God, want, you know, your children on drugs today? Have faith in God. Yes. Nothing else seems to be happening. You've tried rehab. You've tried all these other programs. Why don't you try having faith in God? And then this is the key. They say, I have had faith in God and nothing's working for me. Well, <laughs> Jesus confronted you on that. If you will not doubt in your heart. That's it. That's it. Do not doubt. You know, I, I love this scripture, Mark 11, 22, 23, and 24, because it is probably the most powerful faith scripture in the Word. And when we have faith in God, and we believe that our prayers are answered, we do not doubt our prayers are answered, period. They get answered. And see, the reason that it takes longer or we have problems is because we do doubt in our heart. And in James... It says that for a man that, and then he doubts, that he's like a billowing wave tossed to and fro in the water, and that man should not expect to receive anything, anything. from and, the Lord. And that's the key. It says yes. anything, not just right. the thing they're praying for, but anything. anything. See, we often That's have more powerful. faith in what the doctor says, right. what the banker says, what our job says. You know, I, I remember talking to a, a person one time, and they were saying, you know what? They're promising me a raise and a promotion. Then a, a few months later, they're promising me a raise and a promotion. A few months later, they're promising me a raise and a promotion. Mm -hmm. they're pro if I just stay a little bit longer, I'm going to get a raise and a promotion. <laughs> and finally, it was like, you know what? Why don't you start having faith in God? Thank and God. when you yes. walk in there, say, God, they've been telling me, but they have haven't fulfilled it now. God, I'm believing that God get my raise and promotion. Amen. And God, have faith in God. Don't uh, don't try to tell us. Oh, I have had faith in God. It don't work. No. Jesus said, if you don't doubt in your heart. And what Connie was just saying in Mark 11:24, it says, therefore I say to you, Jesus speaking again, whatever things you ask when you pray, it's believe. Amazing. Yes. That's the key. That is the and, key. And so many times we say, uh, like right now, Connie and I, we're believing God for something right now, and everything looks negative. Everything doesn't look right. But you know what? We just keep praising God for it. And just like, Amen. okay, God, we praise God. And you know what? Sometimes we say, well, uh, my prayer wasn't answered. Well, there might be a reason. Either one, you didn't have enough faith in God, or you were praying too small, and God is saying, I want your faith to increase. You were believing for what you could do. Right. See, Right, Anything right, right. that's too big for you to do is perfectly fit for God to do. Amen, because nothing is impossible with God. Whenever you join your faith with the Word of God and with another believer and pray in agreement, whatever you are praying for, He will do. And I love, I love this analogy. God will put you in a position it appears you cannot afford it, like a home. Like a home. You, he puts you in a home that you cannot afford, but by faith and you believe for it, God will bring in the resources, bring in everything you need to pay for it. He will put you in a position of health where your body is not healthy and where the report has said that you will not live. But you get an agreement, and you believe your prayers, and you do not doubt. Have do that not bulldog doubt. faith, yeah. and you will be healed in the name of Jesus. But see what happens. We get distracted. Like every time I turn yes. my hair, I, I'm seeing this little cow leg. Why didn't you tell me I had a cow leg right there before we started? on? And every time I can see that cow leg, and I'm getting distracted by it. And that's how the devil works. Yes. He, he, he yes. puts a little alfalfa from the little rascal's cow leg up there, <laughs> and it draws your attention away every time I turn away from the monitor. And, and, but that's how the enemy wants to do your faith. He wants your faith to be yes, distracted. Oh, I'm still believing, but I'm going to look over here. I'm still believing, but I'm going to think about over here. Yeah. I'm still believing, but I'm going to pray about over here. I'm still believing, but I'm still, but see, there's always a big, but somewhere in our life. Yes, there is. And, and we got to get the butts out of the way yes. so we can get to the yeses. And another thing in this same scripture, you have got to believe it. You've got to believe that you receive. You've got to not doubt your prayer. Mm -hmm. But the key is 
say to that mountain. Say to the mountain. Say to that mountain. And it says saying several times in the scripture. So you've got to start speaking life to your situations. And do not negate it the minute you get it for prayer. Or the minute you're standing with someone and you are saying, I'm going to be healed. Everything is perfect. I am going to get from God what he has promised me. And then the moment you walk away, then Satan comes in and that doubt creeps in. And then your mouth starts speaking forth those negative things. And, and that's the thing. What is your mountain? See, oh God, I've got a mountain in front of me. God, just what? Name that mountain. Yes. Let that mountain know you know its name. Doubt, I know who you are. Unbelief, yeah. my relationships, I know who you are. Poverty, I know who you are. Praise Attacking God. of my children, I know who you are. You need to let that mountain know. You know who it is, and you're commanding that specific mountain. That's right. Don't just say, God, move the mountains out of my way, Jesus. Move them out, Jesus. No. You need to say, God, that mountain of uh, physical sickness, I, I speak to it yes. in the name of Jesus. Name and of see, that's the key right there. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Because at that name, every knee shall bow. We want to pray for you today. I don't know what your mountain is. I, I know what mountains new life faces. I know what mountains my wife and I face together. But I don't know what your mountain is. But Connie and I want to pray for you today yes. that your mountain will be, hallelujah, removed. removed. Let's pray right now. Dear yes. Heavenly Father, you, as Connie and I join hands together and pray for our partners, our yes. friends, our viewers, uh -huh. Lord, we speak to their mountain. Yes. We speak four words, have faith in God. Uh -huh. And God, we command that their mountains of lack, their mountains of sickness, their mountains of poverty, their mountains of God, a hindrance are being removed and cast away. Yes. Father, we thank you in the mighty name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, lead and guide them. Oh, yes, and we Lord. thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We're so glad that you joined the Life of Excellence today. Connie and I are honored that you're here. Be a part of this Muskogee outpouring, this Muskogee yes. revival. At this point, we're not running a lot of people, but man, the power of God is so strong. So strong. It is powerful. We're having people. God is doing something every night. Healings breakthroughs, yes. blessings, yes. Uh, 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 miraculous touches, uh, the Holy Ghost being filled into people's lives, salvations. So come out to 2426 North 32nd Street and, and be a part of this Muskogee yes. revival. Yes. They're at newlife313.life building that we're... Come into my heart.